Hi there. Now, in this video, what I want to introduce you to is the results that we get if we take the three trigonometric functions y equals sine x, y equals cos x, and y equals tan x, if we differentiate each of them. If we differentiate y equals sine x, the result we get is dy dx equals cosine x, or cos x for short. And if we've got y equals cos x, and we differentiate it, dy dx equals minus sine x. And finally, if we have y equals tan x, dy dx equals sex squared x. Now you generally will find these results on any formula sheet that you get. But what I want to do in this video is just take these results, I'm not going to prove them to you, we'll take these results and we'll just do a couple of questions that are based around them. But before we do that, what I also want to point out is that generally you're going to get a constant in front of these particular functions. Let's say that constant is a. Then when you multiply by a constant to the function of x, differentiating it just gives you that constant times the differential of the function of x. So for a sine x, you end up with dy dx equaling a cos x. And the same is going to be true for each of these ones. So if we put those constants in, that's what we're going to get. Now what I've got here is a couple of examples which I'll work through, but if you'd like to have a go at them, just give you a moment to pause the video. When you're ready, do come back and you can check your work solution against mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So with this first one, what I'm going to do then is we'll, we'll start with finding dy dx for each one of these. So we've got therefore dy dx equals. So for the first one, 3 sine x, well, this is just like this here. The a, the constant being the 3. So what we're going to get is 3 cos x. Now for this second term, minus 2 thirds cos x, the constant a is minus 2 thirds. So what we're going to get when we differentiate it is minus, minus 2 thirds of sine x, okay, according to this result here. And for this last term, 5 tan x all over 4, I see this as plus 5 quarters times tan x. So my constant a is 5 quarters. So when it comes to differentiating that, here's our result. It's going to be plus 5 over 4 multiplied by sex squared x. If I tidy this up, I've got that dy dx equals 3 cos x. Then we've got minus minus, so that's going to be plus. And so I've got 2 thirds sine x, or I could write this as 2 sine x all over 3. And for this one, I've got 5 quarters sex squared x, or I could write it as 5 sex squared x then all over 4. Makes no difference, okay? Okay, well in this second one, I've introduced the trigonometric functions cot x, sec x and cosec x. Now we need to tidy this up and so we've got 5 over cot x. Now cot x is the same as 1 over tan x. So you've got 5 all divided by 1 over tan x which is exactly the same as 5 tan x. And if we look at the next term, minus 3 over 7 sec x. Well sec x is 1 over cos x, so I can simplify the fraction to 3 cos x over 7, or 3 sevenths cos x. And for this last term, 2 over cosec x, cosec x is 1 over sin x, so 2 divided by 1 over sin x is exactly the same as 2 sin x. So now we've got our basic trigonometric functions, we can therefore differentiate this. So therefore dy by dx equals, 
And to differentiate 5 tan x, we've got 5 sex squared x. And to differentiate minus 3 sevenths cos x, remember the differential of cos x is going to be minus sine x. So we're going to have minus 3 sevenths times minus sine x, which is going to be plus 3 sevenths sine x. And for the last term, 2 sine x, if we differentiate that, is going to give us 2 cos x. So we've got plus 2 cos x. Well, I hope that's given you an idea on how we can differentiate then our three trigonometric functions, sine x, cos x, and tan x. And if you manage to get these answers correct, well done.